Hey guys, let me show you how to make some delicious goat meat ground pea soup. This soup is so, so good. Let's get started. First, you wanna add your goat meat to the pot. After that, add some water. You do wanna add enough water because goat meat can take some time to get solved. After that, you wanna blend some hot pepper as well as one tomato and half of um, onion, okay? Half of an onion. Blend those up and add them back to the pot. I'm going to add some paprika as well as minced garlic. I did add some other seasoning as well, but for some reason, my phone didn't record that part. But the three seasons that they did show, um, those were definitely added to the pot. But I'm going to list the remaining ones in the description. So if you wanna check it out, you can. Make sure you add some peanut butter as well to the pie because the peanut butter is what's going to add the flavor. And that's why the soup is called grumpy because you're using peanut butter to cook this soup, okay? Let this boil for some time. The main thing with making this soup is you just let in the water boil. And um, once the water goes down, then the soup is going to basically transform. And that's when you're gonna start seeing it changing and just becoming like more thicker. So just let it boil. Make sure you're checking on it, stirring it, because you don't want your soup to burn. And after some time, it may be an hour and a half, to be honest, because you do want your goat meat to cook um, properly. We don't do hard meat over here. So after some time, like an hour and a half, it should look like this, and then you can start plating it. As you guys can see, I'm going to be plating three bowls because I was um, preparing um, three to feed me and two other people in this household, okay? So I'm just going to be preparing three bowls. And whew, look at that soup. It looks so yummy. And let me tell you something. Grumpy soup is just one of those comfort food that you can just eat. And you just feel so at peace after eating it. It's kind of hard to explain until you actually taste it. But this, this soup right here, it always hits. It always, always hits. And of course, when I am making this soup, I make sure to pair it with some rice. I do like to pair it with jasmine rice, but I didn't have jasmine rice. So I just did some parboiled rice. And that also works pretty well. And check it out. So, so good. Like, ooh. This was delicious. If you, you know, decide to do it, let me know how it turns out for you. And I hope you enjoyed this video and be back for more. Bye.